Hi, I'm going to introduce you to SnapCap, an accessory that can be used as a cap for your telescope and at the same time it can be used as a flat field generator optionally. As mechanical structure, it has a motor, a bracket, a strap that is fixing the whole bracket to the telescope tube, the arms that manipulate the cap, the cap itself, and optionally we can mount a flat panel on your snap cap. This model is for telescopes of 300 mm and uh, larger. This is a model for a 150 mm illuminated circle and as you can see it has a small motor and a very simple mechanical structure with the two limit switches which are the most important uh, element of this uh, system. I'm going to show you how to mount snap cap on your telescope. The tools you will need is a screwdriver, either straight or uh, cross-headed, and a few uh, hexagonal keys. Uh, for mounting the snap cap, we normally start in the closed position, which would be this. I position the strap on the tube and then slowly slide it up the tube until the bracket is reaching about the edge of the tube. Then I control a snap but not too tight closing of the cap. And when it seems to be in the correct position, I lock this screw of the strap. I try to install the snap cap in a way that when it's opening Fully. There is, first of all, free space along the tube for the cap to open and in a way that it can open and close with the roof of the observatory of the, or the dome closed over the telescope. If you need to adjust the cap laterally against the tube, then use these screws. You release one of them and by pushing up or down this rod you can adjust the cap's position laterally as I'm showing now. This is the motor arm safety bolt and opening it allows you to open and close your cap manually for making the adjustments. It is important that you adjust, you lock the safety bolt in the correct way because it serves to protect your equipment when your cap is hitting a foreign object and it cannot close. Obviously also the electronics uh, has some protection but it's better to have a mechanical protection as well. So, bring the cap in this horizontal position when gravity's force is the maximum uh, acting on it. And start closing the bolt slowly. Check if releasing the cap results in it sliding down means you need more force locking the bolt. So lock the bolt until after releasing the cap it stays in its place. After having installed the cap on the tube, let's look at the possible electronic controls. First of all, we have this uh, Arduino-based control, which offers uh, full control of your snap cap. With this, you can open close, um, switch the light on and off, and adjust the brightness of the flat panel. And you can use USB to connection to your computer 
or you can connect uh, via the Bluetooth adapter that is integrated into the system. Uh, the manual naturally has uh, detailed information on the connections. The QR code brings you to the manual. The next option is an ESCOM compatible switch device. This box has four relays which are accessible uh, via an ESCOM application, any program that supports ESCOM switches. It has an ESCOM driver naturally and has a USB 2 connection. Uh, the power must be connected to this connector and you have four output channels. Two output channels will be used by SnapCap, one for opening and closing and the other for switching the light on and off. So if you buy this control option you will have two free relay contacts left for your other accessories. The most economic option to control your SnapCap is this small black box. It has a relay inside that can invert the polarity of the model. It has two inputs. One needs to be supplied with 12 volt direct current whenever you want to use your snap cap. The other input is the triggering for opening and closing. When this input is under 12 volt power, the cap will be opening. When power from this input is removed uh, via your computer control switch, the tube will close. If you have a flat panel device on your snap cap, you will need a separate computer control switch contact to operate, to switch it on and off, because this relay box has operation only for the motor. I have fixed the control box on the telescope tube, and now I show you the connections. This is the output from the controller, and I have to connect one of the cables to the power supply of the flat panel, which is this one. And the other cable to the motor. Yeah. And finally, I connect the flat panel cable to the output of the flat panel power supply. It is important that the cables coming from the motor and the flat panel are fixed and rooted in a way that they do never interfere with the tube cap opening and closing. The PC control software can be downloaded from the link in the manual. You can reach the manual from the help menu too. After selecting the correct port click connect and open the cap. Then you can close it. The flat panel also has its control buttons. At right you see the ESCOM switch control window of an automation program. The local server ensures that any number of clients can connect to the switch device. You can download an Android app to control SnapCap. After configuring the buttons, you can open, close and control the brightness of the device.